Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, on my travels this weekend again, over to Wales at my parents and uh, decided to bring some uh, some gear with me and I've brought with me the um, TX HF6 disco slash dipole uh, multiband antenna from Moonraker. And um, I'm uh, impressed with the build quality so far. Uh, you, you obviously get these uh, clamps and uh, the pole uh, the actual crown, uh, all the elements, uh, ground planes as well. Um, and I've just brought along with me my uh, buddy pole system, the, the pull-up mast part, and uh, I've just put some bubble wrap on there so I don't want to scratch the uh, enamel. But uh, for test purposes, it's, uh, it's uh, more than adequate to uh, support this antenna. Now, I haven't brought my antenna analyzer, so what I've actually done is... Um, just adjusted the elements of each band to the measurements on the instructions here so um, yeah uh, we'll see how it performs so far with the quality and the build quality I'm I'm uh, more than happy with I paid about 129 English pounds however I did notice that on the crown there where you've got the six elements that's uh, there's six uh, five mil holes and uh, five of them were tapped and one of them wasn't, so uh, I uh, had to uh, tap a 5mm uh, hole myself. Um, the crown itself, I believe this part, is, is uh, plated brass. So uh, very good quality. And uh, yeah, so we'll um, head into uh, the shack and uh, we'll see how it performs. I'll get this up around 15 uh, feet and um, we'll see how it goes. Before I do put it up, I just thought let you have a closer look at the build quality. Took these elements out. The end of the element. This is the uh, 50 megs, which I'm not using in this test because I need to uh, shorten uh, the antenna a little and I may have lost a part. So, anyway, just thought I'd let you have a closer look. I'm in my mother's potting shed or my temporary shack uh, for this afternoon and evening. Um, I've set the uh, the antenna up, the uh, TXHF6, and um, I'm just going to do uh, an SWR scan um, on the bands that I've uh, got connected. Now, I have got six metres on there, which I won't do a scan on, um, so... I'm just going to do 80, 40, 20, 17, and 10. So we'll do an SWR scan now. Um, TX power is uh, 0.5 watts. SWR scan now. Now, bear in mind, all these measurements of the uh, elements um, are out the instructions. Uh, there may be some interaction between them, so um, I suppose anything could change if you move them about. Opposites 40, opposite 80, uh, from a dipole perspective, I don't know what the interaction would be. So, yeah, that's not too bad. That's pretty impressive for um, 80, so I'm sure um, there could be some uh, fine-tuning done, adjusting, and uh, no doubt the ATU... In this radio would uh, cope with that so um, we'll exit there uh, right we'll go on to uh, 40 meters yeah. 
Let's go about here, to be honest. So I'm only running half a watt. The SWR scan on the uh, Zygo X6100, uh, this is the, uh, I believe the smallest setting I can get. Again, I think there's some room for adjustment there. You can see it dropping now. We'll exit there. It's gone flat now. Right, so definitely some adjustment there. Right, on to 20 metres. Sit at 14,200, about right in the middle somewhere of the SSB portion. It's quite the way. Just got to sit it there. It doesn't matter, the sweep anyway, the scan goes all through. Uh, the whole frequency range anyway. 1000 kilohertz, I think it is the spacing. But we'll do an SWR scan anyway. Definitely room uh, for adjustment, and no doubt the uh, the ATU and the uh, Zygu will uh, sort that out. No doubt. Let's exit that one. Seventy meters. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's just go above it slightly. One oh. The SSB portion. Sit in the middle here. W1 scan. dropping again slight adjustment stop it uh, we'll go 10 meters now SSB portion 28225 to 29. Yeah, 225 to. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go around here. It starts at around 225 here. Not that I'm hearing a great deal at the moment, so uh, interested to see what the uh, SWR sweep will be. Let's just sit around here. I know I haven't got the decimal place correct to take me to you off. Let's do an SWR scan. Up into the CW, through the data, SSB portion now. That's 
pretty flat really but you know we can go up to sort of 29 700 uh, that's where I believe we were allowed pretty impressive so I don't know what you think guys what I'm going to do now is um, just see uh, if the ATU can uh, sitting in the middle of the um, SSB portions of those five bands and seeing if the ATU in the Zygo X6100 will, uh, will uh, pull it in as best it can so um, yeah pretty impressed so far um, what I'm going to do is the night's drawing in um, I'm going to see if I can make some, any, uh, some SSB contacts, um, predominantly on 40, uh, yeah, 40 metres, uh, might even try 80, but um, I won't uh, hold out my luck, so uh, speak to you shortly. I just thought I'd let you uh, just see the receive using the antenna, this is 80, the time... Uh, time now is coming up for around 6 p.m. so I uh, just thought I'd let you uh, just let me go through the bands and just let you see the receive capability based on the current configuration go to 40 a lot of activity Hold on. Uh, on one. Probably not the best time to show you 20 metres, but... Um Seventeen. The left here there. And seven meters. Forty seems the uh, most active at the moment. I just thought I'd give you an update. I've had the uh, 705 out now and um, using the uh, SDR control software on the iPad. I uh, thought I'd enjoy a bit of uh, seven, uh, 40 metres and 80, uh, but uh, the noise floor is here too high for me to even uh, to get out, to be perfectly honest with you. So uh, I'm going to have a go tomorrow. So I'll say uh, good night, and I'll catch you in the uh, second part in the morning. Just before I go to bed, I decided to use um, the SDR control on the iPad again, using the uh, the antenna, and um, I'm just decoding some uh, HF weather facts. Just noticed the uh, UK just there, an island. And uh, just go into the manual, just pick the frequencies. 
I'm on four six ten at the moment. But um, yes, I'll let this uh, finish, and um, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's the next day. Um, I've been uh, listening and putting a few CQ calls out on the bands, uh, and unfortunately, uh, I'm not being heard. Uh, that's not to say I'm not getting out. It's um, I'm just being uh, sort of, uh, let's say, um, outperformed by some of the uh, stronger stations as I'm only using... Uh, 10 watts uh, at the moment but um yeah so uh just listening now to 17 meters um it's been quite active so far this morning bit of qrm as you can hear that buzz i thought it was um my power supply i've got a power supply connected at the moment but it's not that Yes, it's been pretty active. Yeah, so um, I'll keep persevering and um, see if I get any phone contacts. But I'm going to uh, finish this video um, here. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put a caption up, a photo of the uh, how I've got my elements arranged. And um, when I get back to my uh, QTH, I'll uh, set it up and uh, tune the uh, elements uh, as best I can and see how they perform. Uh, this particular antenna will uh, handle um, an input uh, power of 150 uh, watts on SSB. Um, anyway, 7.3 and uh, catch you in the next one. <laughs>